Now, all of you, look into the fire of truth and tell me what you see. Ha! Ooh, charades! Okay, I see a, uh, uh, a Dutch fudge tort with cinnamon swirls. Okay, monster. Go for it. <sighs> I see a rainbow pony. Excellent work! Now the boy. This is lame. Ow! You're lame! Now just go for it! <sighs> okay. There's a baby bird and a father bird sitting in a nest. Yes, yes, stay with it, stay with it! Wait, the dad just flew away. Why did he leave the little bird all alone? It's, it's, it's trying to fly, but it, but it doesn't know how to. It, it's gonna fall! Proper head case you are, aren't you? <laughs> really messed up. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. The bird's me. My dad left. So what? Oh dear, said Gordon. What a shame, said Edward. Look. Auntie, um... Just thought I might help set the mood! You know, for your big heart-to-heart -heart chat! I know what it's like to not feel ready for something. Even ogres get scared. You know, once in a while. I know you want me to be king, but I can't. I'm not cut out for it, and I never will be, all right? Even my own dad knew I wasn't worth the trouble. He dumped me at that school the first chance he got, and I, I never heard from him again. My dad wasn't really the fatherly type either. Well, I doubt he was worse than mine. Oh, yeah? My father was an ogre. He tried to eat me. Now, I guess I should have seen it coming. He used to give me a bath and barbecue sauce and put me to bed with an apple in my mouth. <laughs> okay, I, I guess that's pretty bad. <laughs> you know, it may be hard to believe, what with my obvious charm and good looks, but people used to think I was a monster. And for a long time, I believe them. But after a while, you learn to ignore the names that people call you, and you just trust who you are. You know, you're okay, Shrek. You just need to do a little less yelling and use a little more soap. Thanks, Auntie. The soap's because you stink. Really bad. Yeah. 